what's good gamers thanks again for all the support on our last video and on twitch the past few days quite a few of you have been asking for a little more details on the build so today we're going to go over how to inspect your inscribed stone early which emblems you should focus on which rotation you should do while the inscribed stone is active as well as which warlike passive and ultimates you should be taking so to start off we want to focus on getting every single one of our emblem slots online there are five emblem slots you have one here one here these are going to be the first two that you unlock and then we're going to go up around this and you have another one here with two more up at the top right once you've unlocked all five emblem slots then you can start focusing on specific stats now Personally, I think that for Fire Mage, you should be focusing on crit. If you are Ice, this is going to automatically switch to, switch to combo whenever you spec into it. It's your specialization. Um, try and take all the specialization nodes that you can. You can also work on getting the core nodes online if you want. But keep in mind, this is more of a later strat in my opinion, because you have to put a point into each one of the previous nodes in order to get one point into your core node right so it's a lot of inscribed dust to get this done you're going to get more power early on just putting in all of your emblems and focusing on that and your stats until you have a ton of inscribed stone energy right um for the emblems that we're going to use for fire i like to use out of control it's extra damage i like to use sprawl for more dot and extra damage i like to use crush because it's a crit rate increase which is amazing for fire uh overload is a crit damage increase um oh there's just, sorry each crit dealt by your direct damage increases your crit damage yeah crit damage increase and then burst is just another damage modifier uh, where you stack over and over again, detonates at 23 stacks. We're already getting around 20 or so stacks with our abilities as a fire mage anyway, so this synergizes really well with fire. Uh, if you're going to be doing ice, there's not a ton of difference. Um, you would swap out the two crit damage ones for the combo ones, which, as you can see, shatter right here is basically the same thing as crush whereas crit rate is increased by 1.6 percent every second uh this is combo rate is increased every second but this is not upgraded while this is level seven so the scaling is much different right you have 0.2 versus 1.6 that's another thing is that you can level up your emblems right uh, they gain additional effects as you can see at level one this has plus 16 intelligence but if you go to level seven you have three additional effects now these additional effects can come in the form of increasing your nearby nodes which is what these plus 50 percents are like on this i have lower right node attribute and upper right node attribute plus 50 percent you're going to kind of want to puzzle piece these in wherever they fit the best as you can see i'm getting two pretty good stats out of it omni and uh, intelligence are very good for fire mage as well as crit if I could have gotten it on crit that would have been better but beggars can't be choosers unless you're a whale you're not going to exactly get the best in slot additional effects on your emblems right uh, so that's something to keep in mind next up we're going to talk about the warlike talents under military rank these are for pvp uh, those of you may or may not know uh, you can upgrade your active ultimates for PvP as well as your passive talents here under Warlike Talent. Again, to find this, you go under Development and then you click Military Rank. Um, Death Sustenance is the most important one whether you are a Fire Mage or you are playing against a Fire Mage. This is a massive counter to us. Uh, can negate lethal damage once HP is recovered by 15% of max HP when triggered. Uh, basically whenever you're gonna die you come back with 15% HP so say you have a 40,000 damage heat bomb on somebody right you got a nice 14 40 stacker going on somebody if they have this they're gonna live through it it doesn't matter so this is our massive counter but you need it anyways yourself next up we have cooldown for all ultimates uh, mage has the best defensives in the game with dimensional move pyro shield and magic skin we'll go over that a little bit later a rapid pullback after being hit movement speed is increased by 10 percent for three seconds and this can stack up to three times now keep in mind uh this is my character on the chinese server you guys will only be able to upgrade it once you get to sergeant and then you can upgrade these again once you reach dragon knight which is a very 
far ways out, okay? It'll be a couple weeks out from hitting Dragon Knight. So you're going to focus on upgrading these three at first. Um, the other ones really don't do much for you, in my opinion. Um, it can be a little pricey. Um, it's only 100 each for the first upgrade, though. It's not 500 each. Uh, now we'll go over the active talents. Now, I said that we had the best defensives in the game, and I meant it. If you look at dimensional move, we get two stacks of this, and it can remove the stun and immobilize effects while granting a 10% damage immunity only for 1.5 seconds. But removing the stun and immobilize effects is massive, especially in arena or battleground. If a paladin CCs you with an AoE stun, you're dashing right out of it immediately. A shadow assassin hits you with an immobilize, you're gone. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal ability. And then next up we have Pyro Shield. Now this negates 30% of your max HP and lasts for 30 seconds. When paired with the Warlike Talent of 15% cooldown on our ultimates right here, this is effectively almost 100% uptime. Um, I can press the shield and it will last for 30 seconds. And in Arena, it's active where I have the 15% off. So it's practically like two seconds higher than what my actual active is. So in arena, you want to immediately cast this same as BGs. You want to immediately be using your pyro shield as much as possible because it stays active for 30 seconds. And by the time that it's wearing off in combat, you'll be able to practically use it again in an arena or a battleground situation with that extra cooldown off of there. Um, next up we have magic skin which is hands down the strongest defensive on mage you will be covered in magic reducing the damage you take by 80 percent and the damage you deal by 50 percent now this lasts for eight seconds which is insane and in pvp i believe it has the additional effect yes grants immortality while the skill effect is active which means you cannot die you cannot die while the skill effect is active it's insane paired with Pyro Shield, you are the tankiest damage dealer in the game. You need to be taking these. You can swap out Pyro Shield for the Silence if you're interested, but I would not get rid of Magic Skin. This is absolutely nuts. You can use it really, really well, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute whenever I go and show the inscribed stone rotation at the dummies in town. Uh, a very, very, very strong ability. You can use it right before you use your bomb, use your bomb, immediately pop it, and then you can set up your next combo while you're magic skinned so that the pop happens at the end of the eight seconds. Very, very, very strong. All right, now I'm gonna show you the ideal way to use your magic skin to get the most use out of it, right? So say you're in an arena, uh, you start off on the other side of arena. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna immediately bust out in your normal combo, right? You're gonna have your uh, pyro shield going and then you do your full regular rotation where we do four three one two 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 then as soon as it explodes boom you pop your magic skin and then you can go four three one two 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 or two two and then the eventual two as you can see the magic skin wore off and i still got the full explosion it's really not hard you just wait to use magic skin until your first detonating detonation goes off and then boom you do another rotation while you have magic skin active you have the 80 percent damage reduction that entire time yes you're doing 50 percent less damage on your initial combo but your massive blast will still do full damage which is the most important thing it will not affect your stats what's your stacks whatsoever you can just keep stacking up while you have magic skin on all right, now we're going to go over the inscribed stone rotation real quick. It's actually pretty simple. You just go 312312312222. So what your inscribed stone does is you gain more heat within 6 seconds and searing sting will reset the cooldown of heat bomb and detonate it, right? So we're going to go heat bomb into instant skyfire, reset and activate with searing sting, then we reapply heat bomb instant skyfire activate searing sting and reset the cooldown of heat bomb and as long as you're doing this quick enough you should be able to do it one more time where it won't instantly explode but it will allow you to get those extra three searing stings on there so i'll basically show you what i'm talking about um i will pop my six pop that three one two three one two three one two 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 right 
Now that's going to be your most DPS that you can get off with the inscribed stone. Alternatively, uh, if you feel like you don't have enough time to do the third one, you can just commit to the second uh, cast of it where you do three, one, two, three, one, two, and then you'll just continue with the twos on there if you don't have enough time on your inscribed stone. Uh, you could also just throw in some blazing orbs, but that's not really the most effective way to do it. Like our regular combo where you blazing orb heat bomb and then use instant sky fire into three searing stings. Like, uh, you're, you're better off just doing the three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, two, two. From what I've seen in DPS, it's an incredibly powerful combo, uh, especially when you add in the fact that you have your inscribed stone effect going. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably be doing one for Bard next. I've been playing the Bard recently and really enjoying it. So make sure you guys subscribe. You're following the stream, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later, gamers.